Okay, so your computer has been infected with this ransomware crypto locker. Uh, basically, it says uh, your files are encrypted. Uh, it's a scam. Don't pay nothing. I'm going to show you guys what you need to do first and foremost. The first thing you need to do is go into and do a system restore to a previous point before you were infected with this particular ransomware. This will work for most of you guys, but not all of you guys. But um, this will be the first and foremost thing. And a lot of you aren't going to be able to go into safe mode or safe mode with networking. So what we have to do is go into safe mode with command prompt. And uh, just follow along and um, within, I don't know, 10 minutes, you should be free of this uh, crypto locker. Well, at least most of you. Okay. So what we do is we need to boot the computer into... Um, Windows Advanced Options. So I'm going to go ahead and re restart the computer now. Restart now. If you if your computer is not restarting, uh, just ho just hold down the power button or just go ahead and unplug it, and uh, then start your computer back up. And once it starts like booting up, what we want to do is keep pressing the F8 key again to get into the um, the uh, Windows Advanced Options. So go ahead and start doing this now. If you have Windows 8, it's a different way you have to do it. Look on the bottom uh, of the description and I'll have a link there how to access that. Okay, that should be good. Okay, here we go. Okay, so what we need to do, guys. We need to go, I mean, for, for a lot of you, this is not gonna work. Safe mode, uh, the original safe mode is not gonna work. Safe mode where networking is not gonna work. However, we should be able to get in this way, safe mode with command prompt. Go ahead and click on enter. Let this load up. Once it's done loading, um, we'll have to like log in using our uh, administrator name or the name that has administrator privileges. Okay, now it brought us to this screen here. I'm going to log in. And I'm using, as you can see on the bottom, I'm using a Windows 7 Ultimate. Okay, and then we'll go back to this command prompt. Okay, now you can see mine here says uh, Windows System 32. Okay, now this is what we gotta do, okay? For for those that have like a Windows 7 and above, the, and, and what we're gonna do here is we're going to use the exe file to execute the, uh, the, the, the uh, system restore. And the file is this, it's R-S-T-R-U-I dot e x e now i'll have everything inside in the description below but again this is for windows 7 and above so i would use this command prompt here but however if you guys have anything that's uh, prior to windows 7 if you have um uh like like windows xp or windows 2000 or uh, millennium or whatnot what you want to do is you want to go to a different path what you do is you type in cd it stands for change directory and then type in restore s Restore and now it's going to change the directory inside the system 32 to system re system 32 slash restore and from here you want to go ahead and type in that um, that uh, exe file dot exe oops exe then you would push enter okay but for me I don't have uh, I have Windows 7 so let me just move back up a directory and I'll just type in uh, R E S T R U dot E X E. Now I'm push enter. Okay, here we go. Okay, now here we are. Uh, resource system files and settings. Okay, what you do is you click on next. Okay, now from here, if you guys don't, uh, these are these, these are my resource points here. Now, if you guys don't have one, um, try this. Show more resource points. Click on this. And what you want to do is you want to click one of these that's uh, prior to you getting infected with that ransomware. And um, the thing is, if you if you guys don't have anything, uh, what you can do is uh, if you have a rescue disk, you can pop the rescue disk in there and push F8, and um, you'll be able to go forward with that. Now, remember, now this this system restore is not going to work for everybody. It's going to work for most of you, though. Okay, so. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put in a restore point here from the 23rd and I'm going to click on next and then you get this message here. 
confirm your restore point. Uh, now, now the thing is, <clears throat> take note that the, re the this restore point is going is not going to delete any files or uh, videos or photos or uh, or documents or anything. Basically, it's, it's just going to get rid of all the programs that you had um, that was after this after this restore point, and hopefully removing your ransomware as well. So we go ahead and click on finished here. And yeah, one. Once this is started, uh, you don't want to interrupt it, so make sure you have a laptop, your power is plugged in. And then I'm going to click on yes here. And we're going to wait a while here. Okay, finally. Wow, that took like a good like 15 minutes, but it's shutting down right now. Let me put it back on pause. Finally, it's booting back up. Okay, now I can finally log in. Now take note, guys, if this didn't work for you, then what you want to do is you want to go to, uh, you want to go back further in your restore point if you have one. If you don't, then, um, you know, hopefully you have a, a rescue disc laying around. And if this worked for you, um, you know, comment, give me a like, subscribe, that would be great as well. If you have questions or anything, just comment below. And uh, I know about, pff, there's literally like another like, 50 different ways you can uh, get rid of these ransomwares as well. But of course it's going to take a lot of time and a lot of patience. Okay, great. And there we go. System restore. Okay, it says uh, system restore completed successfully. The system has been restored to January 23rd. Perfect. Uh, and again, if this guy's helped you out, please give me a like, subscribe. And again, any questions, uh, just uh, comment below. Thanks. Have a good day. Bye.